Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Tuesday here, September 1st. Bit of a surprise uh, rebound in risk. But here we are. Uh, we went home short Aussie, cut that. Went home long dollar czar. Still long a little bit of dollar czar. Um, that also got sort of trashed in Asia, which is kind of unusual. Um, but you can see at the big down day, the big up day, and now we're kind of heading back down again. I guess a lot just relies on what's going to happen with uh, ES here. It went down to 84 at the open last night. Looked pretty bad, uh, but here we are back at 02. The interesting bar yesterday was this one here turn it up to 13 bearish and golf down to 92 um, closed yesterday at uh, 99 so we've made a lower low are we gonna make a are we gonna Bear a bullish engulf here. I don't think so. 13, 13, uh, 35.13 is a bull bear line in ES. This will drive a lot of the action uh, elsewhere. Euro is knocking on 120. Uh, we do see some pretty sizable offers at 120 the figure, but nothing crazy. Um, resting, there's sort of a couple hundred euros sitting around here. Um, on EBS, so first time will probably be like minor resistance, but this looks like she wants to go. Looks like the negative dollar trade is about to get some legs here. Um, we'll see. We're not long euros at the exact moment. Like we said, we're looking for a little bit of a print and then reverse uh, in the euro first time here. Cable also. This is catching a lot of people by surprise. Um, this little extension in dollar weakness, 135.11, very important in cable. You can see from this chart here, this is basically, you know, the 2018 high. So we're looking at two year highs here, 135.11. Through that, you know, we're going to go pretty quickly, I think, to 140. So watch, watch cable. Dollar yen, I mean, sorry, dollar Swiss. Uh, testing the resting bids um, that are surely sitting down here at 90 cents. This will be the third test. If you're front running these bids, I'd think again um, through 90 cents now. Should see some acceleration. Daria not doing a whole heck of a lot, to be fair. Um, should be lower, considering where the DXY is and where everything else is. Uh, but we're sitting here 105.74. Not super clear. Dollars are we talked about. A percent lower from the close yesterday, which is kind of annoying. Got to be careful with this. Should not get below... 74 here um, if it does we just have to cut dollar cat smashed also a lot of people are going to be surprised by this as am I um, and when you get these sort of surprise type moves uh, they can often develop legs so let's not jump to fade this first off today um, Kiwi made the years high here. These are interesting. 60, 67, 60, 67, 70, 67, 88. Hmm. And now here's gold making new highs after the Powell. 70 bucks up, 70 bucks down. Gold looks pretty solid. Again, 
fairly surprised here uh, at this dollar price action so we're gonna step back a little bit and digest fixed income we're still sellers uh, of everything we're not really fucking around with the ZN it doesn't it's not enough fall but um, ZB we are it's a new contract there it's not like it's capped down UIX. Let's check out the yield, which is a little more straightforward. Should see support here at 145 in the yield. Uh, we're looking for a move back up to 177. This all started at 126. We just continue to be long yield short bonds. Um, we're trading it now. We're in the trading phase of this this idea. Um, as far as acceleration and as far as exaggeration, that next point is going to come up at 176. Uh, but for now, we're just trading this. So today, you can sell 175, sort of 10 to 176.10. This is on the December contract for those of you who, who are trading the futures with us at home. Bitcoin, just kind of bid, but not doing too, too much. Same strategy as try and accumulate dollar cost average on Mondays. If you want to do that with us, that's fine. Uh, otherwise, Try and accumulate low ones. Will this break through 11,000 and, and fuck some people and make a move down to 10,000? Surely. Uh, will it do it on a Saturday? Yeah, maybe. This is Bitcoin, right? Trades over the weekend. A lot of people don't trade that. Um, we'll have to see. Have to see. Anyway, uh, like I said, sort of licking our wounds this morning, a bit surprised. RBA did nothing but Aussie shot higher. Um, didn't really see any interesting uh, dollar news, but here we are, Euro uh, at the highs. We've got PMIs out of Europe today. Um, mildly interesting. Manufacturing PMIs less interesting than service PMIs. I guess the German one um, is interesting. 955 German manufacturing PMI. And then in the US today we have manufacturing uh, as well at 4 p.m. So some manufacturing data today, but the bulk of the good data starts uh, later in the week. We've got Aussie GDP tonight, and then we got services out of China, US, and Europe. And then we have employment data from Canada and the U.S. on Friday. So not really a data-driven day. We'll see. Euro. Those offers look like they've capped it the first time, as we were talking about. 97 high so far. We shall see. We shall see. Uh, Equities and risk are going to drive a lot of what's going on. Obviously, if equities continue higher, you can expect dollar lower um, and vice versa. Short fixed income is really our key focus, trying to get our bearings in FX with a tactical mindset for now. Um, we'll see what happens at 120, the figure in euro dollar. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.